Hey everybody, it's Bruce Bishop from the Chronicle Telegram. It's March 21st and this is our latest coronavirus update for Lorain County. Right now we have 247 cases across the state. Uh, that's scattered out across 33 counties. There are 58 people hospitalized and we have three deaths reported. Um, right now Cuyahoga County has 92 cases, that's the most in Ohio. Uh, Lorain County has 14. That number has doubled in the last two days and while those numbers might be concerning, it is completely expected and it's something that they've been telling us would happen. This works in expen exponential numbers, so everything will basically be doubling every few days until we kind of max out at the peak of all of this. Um, some other news that we have for everybody today, uh, Governor Mike DeWine today ordered all adult day services for developmentally disabled adults where 10 or more people congregate to close down by Monday, March 23rd. Um, they're saying that all clients will continue to receive services don't know that they have the plans figured out yet, but obviously everybody's working on trying to get that arranged as quickly as possible. Lieutenant Governor John Husted said that the Bureau of Workers' Compensation has agreed to let employers forego their payments for March, April, and May. What this will effectively do is add $200 million back into the economy. Um, ODOT has agreed to waive weight and size waivers for the delivery of healthcare supplies and essential goods. They're also saying that permit fees for oversized loads will be waived. Uh, in other local news, we have the Lorraine County Sheriff's Department canceling on-site visits at the Lorraine County Jail. Family can still use a phone system to do a remote visit. That's through icsolutions.com. We'll post that at the bottom of the uh, video, and then we'll also add it to a, a link at the end of it. Uh, the Lorraine County Free Clinic has announced that they will not be closing. They're going to remain open from 9 a.m. till 3 p.m., Monday through Friday. Patients should call 440 277-7641 for medication refills and information and referrals. Uh, they are canceling their annual fundraiser in April and I think uh, we can pretty much expect that every fundraiser is going to be canceled throughout the uh, near term. The Ohio Department of Insurance is issuing order for insurers in Ohio to allow employers to offer employees a grace period for insurance premiums. Grace period is for all health insurers and it must provide the option of deferring payments interest free for up to 60 calendar days from the original premium date. So you're ultimately going to have to pay for it, but it'll put some extra money in your pocket right now while we're going through the immediate crisis. The big part of the announcement is that health insurers must allow employers to continue covering employees even if the employee would otherwise become ineligible for insurance because of a decrease in the hours worked a week. So if you're getting cut back at work, you can at least look forward to knowing that you're going to be able to have your insurance covered. We're going to post some more information on the site as far as different resources available. And that's basically where we're at for this update. So everybody take care of yourselves, take care of family, and don't forget the senior citizens out there. And we will be back tomorrow with another update. Thank you.